this is me Pujo from All About Trends. So today we'll be going to discuss about the essence of doing a job or engaging in something during your student life. So make sure you listen to this. So the basic things that we face uh, whenever we are, I mean like we're, when we're a student, particularly when we're uh, 14 or 15 years old and we ask our parents to uh, give us some money and sometimes we don't get the money. Sometimes our mind on that particular time says to uh, buy some toys or buy some uh, gadgets. For example, if uh, if you talk about me when I was uh, of, uh, of uh, like when I was uh, 14 years or 15 years old, I was very fond of having or or buying uh, like toys or a uh, kind of buses. I mean, I mean, like which is not actually the real buses. Obviously, these are toys because that time my imagination was around these sort of things. Uh, and I was quite um, like I used to uh, like I used to enjoy different sorts of uh, um, like fantastic games or, or movies or I mean like animated things. However, I never thought about making money on that particular time. So the reason that I'm I'm doing podcasts, particularly on this uh, particular, I mean. On this subject, I mean, I mean to say, uh, why it is really essential or important to start a job or to do something or to engage yourself or something uh, from the very young age. So let's let's uh, let's talk about it. Why it's important. So the first thing it could be is that it will gather like it will gonna um, uh, it will gonna help you to gather a lot of experiences. So make sure you start it from your for, uh, like. From, uh, from 14 or 15 years old because that's the time when you're actually grooming yourself in order to be a pro. You don't have to work in a pro- professional body but you can also uh, like uh, uh, start your own business. And uh, I'm very much pleased to see that uh, as the coronavirus uh, and the pandemic, I mean the pandemic has started uh, since March 2020, I mean in Bangladesh, I've seen many, many, I mean many young entrepreneurs, I mean those, those child that I, that I used to say or the people used to say, they actually came up and sh- and and showed their guts and, and I mean the performance and they did really well. So they started by selling masks. And, and and different sorts of medical stuffs. So, the, the, so there is there is a a, a very um, very good positive trend that I'm seeing, and I hope that the I mean the many youngsters who follow them are, and follow the legacy. The reason that I think that there is a there is a, I mean I don't know like about the other countries. However, I can say that many people I mean especially the parents think that it, they better I mean. That their, their children should be engaged in study rather than work. So they, like, they started to posit the argument uh, that uh, the if the I mean if the children engage themselves in study, it would be far better to uh, I mean to ensconce themselves as a prudent leader or prudent lawyer or prudent businessman or, or something really like spot um, later whenever they're gonna finish their. Uh, undergrad and postgrad or whatever that later comes on so I think there's a particular moment uh, what I feel that that needs to be changed I mean this trend uh, should be changed so I think even though many people argue that it actually varies from person to person uh, sometimes because that's I think that's that's the that's the learning process of that that's the learning time even if you stumble, you'll have ample time to recover it. However, if you start to uh, make your bestness uh, uh, by the age of 25, 30, I think that that I think it, it might be late. What the reason that I use might because um, there is no uh, defined age to be successful. You can be successful at any at any age. The thing is that we don't we don't understand or uh, I mean to say to elucidate my point I should say that successful doesn't mean to stay successful all the time it, like I have heard uh, my colleague to say that 
Uh, there is also an enjoyment and a positive thing to learn, I mean, to, to defeat successfully. For example, you have taken a step to start a new business, uh, being so naive or, or being the first person to do it, or having no experience to do it. So, and then you tried and tried and continued to invest on the particular business. However, after a certain stage, you actually didn't able to continue anyone. You had to, uh, like, you had to find a way, or you had to circumvent the the, the situation, you know, to get rid of uh, for the losses. So, at the end of the day, I mean, at at the end of the day, you can just tell yourself, okay, I have done something. Well, I have given my forward uh, to do uh, something. I think. Uh, we should not, like, as a youngster, like, you should not uh, stick to only one thing. Do whatever you can w uh, within your reach. So, for example, if you love photography and if you think that that suits you, go for it and take snaps. That's what actually I really did. And even though I didn't make my name uh, on that, uh, like, uh, to the next level, however, I enjoyed it. But but I still feel that I still regret that my parents didn't allow me to work uh, on a large scale because they were keeping me in sort of a, a virtual cage. Uh, I mean, I mean to say, like I didn't able to explore all my all my skills because um, I, I I really loved the photography and I had a chance to uh, to to go in South Africa and um, so I had I had the chance to go and visit South Africa uh, as a natural photographer. However, I, I didn't get the chance anyway. Uh, I, I I think I think uh, it's better not too late. Uh, I think there's the, there's a chance as I'm continue, as I have already finished my low graduations. So I, I'm just stepping into something. Now I'm working as a marketing executive in this is Educare. So this is a different thing. Also, I'm writing my own blogs uh, and I also have my own podcast that you are hearing. So do something, do anything, and like you're gonna. Uh, like you're gonna make your name one day do whatever but yes uh, it, it should not be uh, by selling bruises or something sort of uh, doing or, or engage you some Ill uh, illicit or illegal activities you should not do that because you might make money uh, at the very beginning but you, you can continue and you'll have a very bad reputation so so as you will be uh, as you will be having a bad reputation the outcome will be really severe or you can take a health or, or, or take, uh, I mean, uh, uh, t take the counseling session from the experts. I mean, there are various sort of uh, a market expert organization um, and like uh, to get rid of their sponsorship or, or, or I don't want to name them, you can search them and Google them anywhere and make sure you do check the reviews anyway. So uh, back to the point, when you were a student, don't just think that you'll only study and stick yourself only to the vocational knowledge. There are other things you can do. If you love comedy, go for it. And post a video of it. Do something else. If you if you love to create events, do do it. If you love to uh, make food, do it. Start it. I mean, to start is really important. So don't think about the outcome at the very beginning. Okay, do something else. Just don't engage yourself in, in a certain position. I think you can make it. You can make your name. So that's what really believe in yourself. And and you know, the best thing would be like you'll be like you have to believe yourself. You have to uh, trust yourself because you cannot be perfect. I mean, there's nothing called perfect anyway. So uh, like you cannot be expert or prudent person by overnight I mean you know one day so every time you you do such thing whenever you back I mean you get back home do some rough work and try to um, strike the flaws so that you don't repeat that again I hope you can do it and uh, my advice to you would be that uh, uh, even though you listen to the to your parents also listen to yourself and be with the right person and what I mean by right person, right person means, um, for example, you should be around the right people, those who can advise you and, and show you the right track. So, I mean, this is really hard to understand or identify the right people because you cannot sh like show the right sign on their face. So, you have to, you have to, uh, like, 
you have to go and talk with various types of people so that you can grow your experience and know the uh, the people that you want to be with other than t- other than uh, like exploring with different sort of people and taking different sort of experience uh, there is no better way to be with the right people so definitely uh, there is no guarantee to that but you can know the people in the best i mean the best manner uh, and uh, yeah i hope i hope this uh, short session will gonna help you so in the very next uh, podcast i'll be trying to catch up i mean we'll be trying to invite one of our very young entrepreneur uh, he had um, hosted one event by himself i think he has just completed all levels and also well, we are also expecting our another uh, it expert who is also a freelancer so just sunny level he can promote you uh, like how can he share his experience about this so uh, so far thank you everyone for listening to this podcast i hope uh, this will reach you well and if there is anything that you want to add and if you are watching it from the youtube or my website do share your comment and share your views or if you want to uh, like if you want to suggest any other uh, podcast topics to mention it or you can also email me uh, it's it's uh, manager at allabouttrends.com you, you can send your email to me so I think um, I have uh, I, I think it will gonna help you uh, at least to some extent uh, so thank you for listening to this podcast and kindly stay safe um, and uh, avoid uh, mass gathering and please uh, take care of yourself in this pandemic i know we can win the situations and a very good weekend or good day so ta-ta, bye-bye this is me signing off today from all about trends thank you bye